All right, this is the feature demo of my second aim world. I've been working on this map for uh, a month and a half, roughly, and have given up on any further progress on it since it's pretty much done and I'm kind of done with Pavlov development for now. All right. As soon as you spawn in, you will have infinite amount of money and time to buy guns. You can buy all guns you want at all times. Um, as soon as you press the B button uh, on your controller, you will be presented with a menu that you can interact with with a laser pointer. Um, and this menu allows you for uh, some basic options and practice selection. And these are just categories that I have here for the practices available. And so if you choose a practice, let's say grid shot, then it teleports you to a grid shot practice. A feature that I've added to this world is that you could not, you do not need um, bullets anymore to actually interact with the world. So right now I have the bullet counts um, to be turned off, so I do not need bullets to interact. What it's gonna do is automatically register if I'm in a practice that requires or doesn't require bullets and it's going to update my mag accordingly, right? So now I don't have any bullets in my chamber and I can still interact with the targets uh, very conveniently. If I feel like turning the bullets on again, it will automatically put a mag in my gun and reset the practice and now I can interact with the bullets. Um, and if I'm out of ammo, it's not going to react at all. Uh, other features that I have built in is a uh, height offset adjustment or height adjustability so now everything is taller or if you want to be if you want to be higher relatively then you can do that as well and kind of be on top of everything of course at the end of every uh, sequence so let's say I do this is a grid shot all the way and As soon as the timer is done, you will be um, kind of reset and it will give you a score summarization of everything. Right, uh, I have some like basic practices here. It's just a matter of like going, going in and messing around, but some practices re require bullets. So if you try and uh, toggle these off in, let's say a recoil shot, which uses recoil to work, then obviously you're not gonna be able to do that. Other practices that I have here are um, some some that exist in the actual like hub world. So if I go back and I run over here, uh, they will be just around the corner. But um, obviously you can just teleport there. They don't activate unless you go inside, in which case you can uh, interact with them. This practice, for example, or the recoil wall over there in them as well you can turn the bullets off and they will reset now if you want to have a better visualization of your trajectory you can um, use the laser toggle a button which toggles your laser and shows you where you're gonna hit the target a fun thing and a really nice mechanic that I added to it is that um, it snaps to whatever gun you have regardless of what it is it will snap to the nozzle rather nicely And you can use any gun that you want, basically, if uh, you care about, like, if it if the alignment matters. You can use any gun, and it is really comfortable and convenient to work with. Of course, you can turn it off. Um, the recoil wall, I have added a new feature to it. It kind of gives you more measurements to work with. And um, the, the feature that I added the most... Um, crucial feature I feel like is that it runs off of hit scan rather than bullets so apparently Pavlov does have some level of RNG to how bullets are released of your gun like it will give it a bit of an angle offset but this is the most reliable way to really test your pure gun alignment and it's not gonna like jiggle or, or oscillate or anything so this is a really nice feature it has um, a camera that snaps to whatever origin of a burst you're having and gives you a nice display of it uh, there's some extra percentage accuracy percentages you can work with just look at the bottom left one for the overall 
overall accuracy for the the one that you should care about if you leave this it will update your um, bullet count mode um, I, I also have a really nice bot arena that will spawn you uh, bots automatically so the way this works is that you don't need to press any bot spawning button you just have um, an arena to go in and mess around it's rather big right and there's a lot of you can see a lot of bots on the leaderboard but as soon as I go back they get deleted which is nice yeah that's uh that's the gist of it I feel like